Let me just start with number one. We got to get out of denial. We don't need. Stop trying to be good people. We need real people. You know, I do a lot of diversity work, and people will come up to me at the beginning of a workshop. They're like, "Oh, Mr. Diversity Lady, we're so glad you're here." <laughs> But we don't have a bias bone in our body. And I'm like, really? Because. I do this work every day, and I see all my biases. I mean, not too long ago, I was on a plane, and I heard the voice of a woman, from women pilot, coming over the PA system, and I was just like so excited. I was so thrilled. I was like, "Yes, women, we are rocking it. We are now in the stratosphere." You know, it was all good, and then it started getting turbulent and bumpy, and I was like, "I hope she can drive." <laughs> I know, right? But. And it's not even like I knew that was a bias until I was coming back on the other leg. There's always a guy driving, and it's often turbulent and bumpy. And I've never questioned the competence of the male driver, the pilot. It's good. Now here's the here's the problem. It's like if you ask me explicitly, I would say female pilot, awesome. But it appears that when things get funky and a little troublesome, a little risky, <laughs> I lean on a bias that I didn't even know that I had. You know, fast-moving planes in the sky. I want a guy. That's my default. Men are my default. Who is your default? Who do you trust? Who are you afraid of? Who do you implicitly feel connected to? Who do you run away from?